Welcome to this video lesson, the Synthesizer Amplitude Envelope. My name is Kendall Giles, and I'm speaking to you right now from the middle of Virginia on the east coast of the United States. You can also find me online at my website, kendallgiles.com. Synthesizers are an important component of modern music and are also useful for understanding sound design. In this tutorial, we will explain the components of the Amplitude Envelope and give some examples of different envelope types and the sounds they produce. We'll be demonstrating these concepts using the Linplug Alpha Free Synthesizer and it is available for GarageBand as a free plugin. The Amplitude Envelope model has four different characteristics, attack, decay, sustain, and release. And each of these four characteristics can be seen in this graph of a typical Amplitude Envelope. In this model, there are four phases to the sound of an instrument playing a note. As can be seen in the graph, a note is initiated in time with the note on event. The note is held for a length of time and then the note is then released with the note off event. Attack time is the length of time it takes for the amplitude envelope to reach its full volume once the note on event is received. Decay time is the length of time it takes to move from the amplitude peak to the sustain level. The sustain level is the amplitude level after the initial attack decay phase while a note is being held. Release time is the length of time it takes for the amplitude envelope to move from the sustain level to silence after the note off event is received. By adjusting each of these four characteristics, we change the shape of the envelope, which affects the timbre of the sound. This allows us to synthesize many different sounds. To demonstrate how different amplitude envelopes produce different sounds, I'm going to play sounds produced by five different envelope shapes. To produce these different envelopes, I'm going to be adjusting these parameter knobs on the Alpha Free synthesizer for attack time, decay time, sustain level, and release time. And to simulate the note on and note off events, I'm going to be playing a note on this virtual keyboard. The first example is called a switch, and this amplitude envelope has a very low attack, decay, and release times, but has a sustain level at 100%. This type of envelope produces a sound much like you would hear when playing an organ. Let's give it a listen. Next, let's hear how to synthesize a percussive sound, such as playing a note on a xylophone. Attack time and sustain level are zero, decay time is a mid to high level, and release time is the same as decay time. Let's give it a listen. For our next example, such as laying a towel down over the keys of our xylophone, this produces a damped percussive sound. We're going to have the same settings as for our percussive envelope, except that we're going to be taking our release time down to zero. Let's hear it. The sustaining envelope is similar to the switch, except that the times are very small, but non-zero. An example of this might be when playing a blown or bowed instrument. Let's listen. The last envelope is a kind of a fun one. The attack time and sustain level are zero, the decay time is small, and the release time is long. This results in the effect that when you play a short note, you get a long sound because of the long release time. Yet, if you play a long note, you so you press the key and hold it, you end up with a very short sound. Maybe something applicable to Star Trek? Let's listen. So that's it for a quick tutorial on the Synthesizer Amplitude Envelope. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching, and please keep in touch.